Listen up, partners. This is Good, Bad, Ugly on World Improv Network. Good evening, everyone. I'm Alex. My name is Asa. I'm Jim. And we are your astute wind counselors to get you through the week with any daily grind issues that you might be experiencing or any problems that you want resolved at all. We're going to get to our first winner, and our first winner is Larry, and he hails from Vancouver, Canada, and he writes, mm. Dear Win, with the tragic passing of two of the greatest, Muhammad Ali and Prince, in the past few weeks, it makes me reflect on some of the greatest things I have lost. What are the greatest things you guys have lost in your lives? Wow, what a deep question to start out. Yeah, the greatest things, things. that you've lost, Ace. Holy smokes. Mm -hmm. Great question, Larry. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, way to keep it soft, Larry. Uh, well, I, I mean, I just could go with the greatest thing I've ever lost was, was my Nana. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. How old was Nana? Uh, she was uh, four months from being 101. Man, that's amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. Um, and she was a she was a good proud woman, fed a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. She was a cook. Uh, no, she delivered a lot of meals on wheels, oh. and she also had seven kids. Wow. So yeah, and she lived to hundred. That's amazing. Almost one hundred one. Yeah. What did she do? Like you know, for a career and all that. Uh, yeah, she raised seven kids. Yeah, and that's... she kind of she ran a farm for a while. Okay. Um, so she would trim, hedge, okay, and feed, feed, you know pigs yeah. yeah and she always fed nuns and stuff that's cool like there there was this uh just like wild nuns <laughs> yeah <laughs> they run around on the farm wild nuns just start feeding them it's a real problem in central pennsylvania these <laughs> packs of wild nuns <laughs> roaming the appalachians um <laughs> the, the hills do sing <laughs> that's, that, that's right <laughs> they, they sing with gregorian chant and all of a sudden she'd find them by the music and just start stuffing pine, uh, pumpkins and stuff in their mouth right yeah yeah that's it exactly wow oh. Yeah, that's a that's an amazing woman. I can understand why that's the greatest thing you ever lost, without a doubt. Yeah, and I'm being completely serious too. You Man. bring up a interesting uh, uh, point there, Alex, about like what did she? So you asked, what did she do for a career? Right, and just like the difference in times we yeah. live in, you know, like sure. how there's this different set of expectations. I feel like you got to be, uh, uh, well, I don't I mean like you got to be, uh. Uh, a homebody and also like have a your own career right. and you know, yeah driven you, yeah have your circle of friends yeah. and stay in touch with your family and all that stuff but uh anyway you know uh, what? one of the great that was my segue into <laughs> the greatest things that you lost <laughs> into, into talking about me uh because i feel the pressures of being a modern day woman uh mm. i don't sorry uh that was a silly joke anyway uh my cat my cat remy Remy. Uh, yeah, I had her since, I mean, she, I must have been like two or three years old right. when I got her, and she was the best cat. That's exactly how I feel about my cat, Max, too. Max well, was the coolest, fattest cat. would sleep underneath the covers with you. There's something about fat cats, because yeah, awesome. Remy was a huge cat, too. Awesome. And there's something, like, very endearing about a fat cat, because well, there's, like, warmth there. Yep. She was a great cuddler. She loved uh, everybody, yep. you know? She she'd sit down next to anybody and, yep. and give them affection and that's how just like uh, just like fat people, yeah they're well, so desperate for attention and a cure to their loneliness. They they'll just, roll on their back and let you scratch their belly. Mm -hmm, they'll anybody. cuddle up next to you, crawl underneath the sheets with you, lick your kneecaps, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, can't fit in the litter box, so they pee on your backpack. Yep, yeah. that's a good one. Or just they can't uh, you know pee in the backpack or the litter box because they're borderline. Well, shall we say? slow mentally what are you that's, saying that's, about my cat oh max was max oh. wasn't the smartest oh. cat he was he was very fat he was not he not he was incredibly not aggressive couldn't kill a thing in his life never had and he was also not intellectually the best cat with regards to figuring things out and that's what made me more endearing were you hmm. testing your cat yeah the one thing though that max would do that i could never figure out how he did this he was obsessed by two things doritos potato chips Cool Ranch specifically, mm -hmm. and ice cream. So it didn't matter where you were in the house, even if Max was asleep on the a, a second floor in a corner and you were down in the basement in the laundry room eating ice cream, he somehow knew you had ice cream and he was relentlessly badgering you until well, he got the ice cream. Alex, so, I, I hate to break this to you. Uh, your cat was a pothead. Oh, man. Yeah. That would Classic explain. symptoms. Yeah. Slow. Yeah. Couldn't catch anything. Yeah. Fat and Not had aggressive. munchies. Non-aggressive. Non-aggressive mm -hmm. as much. Did, did he have a job? No. Yeah. Damn. 
Yeah. yeah. There you go. Thanks, guys, for bringing it to light. After all these years, I never knew why Max was oh, that way. Far out, man. Hell, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you had a you had a a Cheech and Chong cat. I did, and I never knew that. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Because I tried to like cycle. That doesn't them. like freak you out, or it does. You know, to kind of revisit to look back on the past yes. with this new lens. It does because now I want to see all the things that he did in his life, and now I have a different perspective of why he might have done them, mm. and it all probably goes back to pot. Man, edible pot, you know, kittles and bits. Man. Yeah. yeah. Great, <laughs> Thanks, great guys. question, Larry. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Larry. Nice, nice visit. I was gonna down say, memory lane. I was gonna say, not getting the high score at Adams Family Pinball Machine. I got second of the all-time high in in the Seven Eleven in Omaha, Nebraska, but I couldn't get first. That's the greatest thing I ever lost. On to the next question, Anthony. That's a, that's from, a tough machine too. That is a tough one. It's a fast one. That is, a, it's a great game, and I and I'll never never get over that one. Jim. Anthony from Phoenix, Arizona writes, "Dear Win." My family functions always seem to get more interesting when I start drinking at them. Mm. Is that normal for you guys too? Or is my family just so lame that I need to always drink? <laughs> um, I actually, my family does not drink at family functions. Um, I think we're just a family of lame people. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, yes. Yep. So you're saying that, that Larry's family or Anthony's family is pretty lame too. Or, and it's not just him. Yeah, Ant Anthony sounds cool. Yeah, like he likes to party. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the rest of his family might be kind of lame. You know, the thing is, he doesn't say what he actually does when he starts drinking. Mm -hmm. You know, why does it become more interesting when he starts drinking? You know, I'd like to know actually, Anthony, what are you doing to make it more interesting? I'd like to know what Anthony's drink of choice is. That's yeah, a good question wanna, too. Are, you, are we talking wine, spirits, oh, beers, wine. Mm. the wine? That's a good question. A fine wine. A fine mm. wine. Maybe a Dornfelder from Germany, or maybe a, a, a maybe a Malbec from Mendoza, Argentina. You know, I get tiger blood, man. That's right. Tiger blood is basically just a Malbec from Argentina, stuck in the Charlie Sheen's veins. That's where it is. What's that box wine called? Franzia. Franzia. Yeah. <laughs> the quality stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sweet and spicy. And so with a bunch of sulfites uh, to get you through the day. <laughs> little, I don't know, maybe controversial opinion here. But I'm just going to say, I would rather have Boone's Farm every day of the week instead of Franzia. Hands down. That's yeah. the jug? No. Uh, no, it's the bottle yep. with the screw cap. Yep. Boone's Farm, no joke. Hands down. Matter of fact, I'll go to Mad Dog, which some Ooh. people used to think used to be wine too, but it's not. Mad Dog. Is that Boone's a Farm. malt wine? It had Is that like a thing. Yeah, it was one. They had to change the formula on it because people were getting like seizures and stuff Ooh. because of the chemicals in it. That but, and some of those energy drinks. Hence why they call like it a mad Hornet dog. And, yeah. <laughs> Hornet? <laughs> I, I remember reading about, like, in high schools, they had vending machines with some energy drinks, and kids were, like, having seizures and heart attacks. Yep. Like, Jeez. after, because they'd guzzle the whole can, mm -hmm. and, you're not, and you're not supposed to. Like, there's, like, two servings in a can. Right. And so you could get away with one, but if you had both, like, you were, oh. you know, and if you already had, like, a pre-existing condition or something. Did you ever hear of Jolt? Soda, yeah. yeah, all the caf, all the, twice the sugar and all the caffeine, or something yeah. like that. It's all like the sugar and twice the caffeine. The caffeine of two cups of coffee, yeah, oh, carbonated with like a hundred grams of sugar in it. Yeah. I'm curious what Anthony drinks. Anthony means by family function. Yeah, that's, that's a good a, question. That's like a pretty broad term. I feel like because the first thing that comes to mind is family reunion. Yeah, and that kind of is like how often are you having family reunions? Good point. Like barbecues, probably. Fourth of July events, those kind of things, maybe, is what he's talking about. Baptisms, like you said, quinceañeras. Yeah, quinceañera. You and never what, know how many you need And what's those. your, like, what are we, when we say family, I mean, family comes in all different shapes and sizes. Are we talking, you know, your your sister and your mom and dad? Are we talking about cousins and aunts and uncles? Yes. And or gag, branches or, of the family? or Gaggles and nuns running through the Appalachian Hills of Pennsylvania? Yeah. I yeah. mean, they raid that stuff. Absolutely. They're like raccoons. Without a doubt. You can only sedate them with pumpkins. Yeah. Didn't know that. <laughs> well, Anthony, I don't know. I mean, uh, <laughs> my, we have really no answers here to why your drinking makes it so much more interesting, except for the fact that you must be drinking Mad Dog, which makes you crazy. You start to hallucinate. You have a great time. That's some and, Four loco. That's some Four loco. Mm. Exactly. Same thing, modern day Four loco. And you know what? That Four loco that's going to get you through the rest of the week is known as Horse Cup Corner. Love. Fortune, status. Let us do your astrological chart. Horoscope Corner on World Improv Network. Oh, hey there, Tauruses. I got bad news for you. 
the universe has a contract killer out for you unless you go to the World Improv Network on YouTube. Like our videos over there. Check us out on Twitter at World Improv Net. You can see us on Facebook. We have a group out there, the World Improv Network. Like us over there. You can check us out on iTunes or Google Play. We have a podcast, the World Improv Network. Leave a review. Leave some stars. Subscribe. And as always, you can check us out live on the radio right here, AM 1340, 8 p.m. And also KDCO 104.7. Out. Thanks for listening to Win on Mile High Sports Radio. Don't forget to be a winner and interact with the cast by sending your suggestions or questions for each show segment throughout the week by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, on Twitter at World Improv Net, or by calling into the Mile High Sports Radio studio line on Sundays before or during the show. See you next week.